What it do, YouTube? This your boy Double Up, and I'm about to give you facts about Tupac you may have not even known, or you may have known. You know, Tupac was one of my favorite artists. Things about him that some of this stuff I didn't even know. So I'm about to give you a little taste and preview of what you may or you may have not even known. So first of all, Tupac was a ballet dancer. Who would have known? Tupac, a ballet dancer. You know, despite his tough image, and then, you know, he was a poetry enthusiast. So Tupac, he wrote a lot of poetry, which made him who he is today. Well, he's gone. So who he was when he was here. So, you know, that poetry played a big part in his rapping. Another thing, he was <clears throat> he was Shakespeare connected. So he liked Shakespeare. So he liked plays. He liked to do things that other people in the rap world probably today haven't done or haven't even thought of, you know. and I'm going to give you some examples and I'm going to show you some things that he did. Okay, he was part of the Digital Underground. which was a rap group. He liked to do inspirational re reading. So he, he liked to do things that a lot of these rappers haven't done in their life, and they would like to be like Tupac. But Tupac was totally a different person. He was a different type of beast. Some pro somebody that you can't, even, you can't even amount to, you know? He was an activist, you know? He was a versatile artist, you know? As speaking, he... He had different type of flows. He had different type of music. He had music that you can feel, that you can actually go home and, and just ride and just listen to him and, and play around your mama. Dear Mama was one of my favorite songs. You know, I like to play that for my mama every Mother's Day. So that made inspirational for me just by him making that song. He was a political activist. I think I just said this earlier, you know, he was a, a pillar in his community. You know, he liked to give back. A lot of people don't like to give back, especially when they meet, reach that height or that status. They don't want to give back. So Tupac was really like that. He really cared about the community. Machiavelli, that was his, like, alter ego. So, you know, he liked, he liked to be a, a, a different type of dude. He had a lot of releases under death row, but, you know, it's, it's it's sad how it turned out for him, you know what I mean? And we all love Tupac. I don't know what age group you in, but you in my age group, you love Tupac. You know, he inspired a lot of artists. Um, Snoop Dogg still going, one of the biggest artists right now. But if Tupac was alive, he would be right there with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> 